All right, so I love YouTube. I watch it all the time, and I have learned so much over the last couple of years. Um, even before the pandemic, I was watching it, learning stuff, and um, it's great. However, not everything that you see is true. Just like Obi-Wan said, you know, sometimes things are true from a certain point of view. So today we're talking about actuators. Um, this is a Pentair actuator. And um, once again, for those of you who are new, an actuator sits on top of a valve and it will, it will make it move, right? And so this one uh, is broken. And if you can hear, Okay, so there's that clicking in there, and the way you fix it is this. Um, unfortunately, this is a replacement. Um, there are some ways to fix these things under different circumstances. If this is if this is broken in another manner, there's some videos out there on the internet that show the pressure switches. So let me take the top off and I'll show you that. Okay, so here we are with the actuators lid off and right here, these two, these two pressure switches, it definitely when the actuator cam is rolling around, you know, you, you've seen this one before, okay? Okay, so the internet has a couple of many videos showing how to fix this and this little whatever it is eight dollar part or i don't know how much it is um but it's really cheap and it's held in with one screw and two wires and yes that's actually a way to fix if that's the problem in this case it's not and right here this is the the motor in which there's some plastic gears in here and you can hear that they are all moving around and they're probably all broken up inside there um i don't know this pool is maybe five years old so to be honest with you i'm a little surprised that this happened this is a um but it is a, a part that gets used a lot and every time you put it into spa mode um this thing is is uh, doing and doing its job and operating so um i am gonna just chart or um I'm gonna change out the whole actuator and we're just gonna go from there because this is not really something that I've found a whole lot of success in replacing. Um, even finding this part is really the issue here. Okay, one of the things that I have encountered in uh, getting new stuff is uh, stuff that's bad out of the box. So here's our brand new Pentair actuator. And before I go and slap it on top of the valve, I'm gonna test it to make sure that it's gonna work because I wanna put this all together and then put it back and have it not work. So I put it into my return valve right here and now I'm gonna put it into spa mode. And what do you know? That actuator is working. Okay, so let's put it back into pool and then we'll install this guy. Okay, oh my god, my hat's off. Um, all right, so we have now made our swap here. Our actuator is in, and then we just have to route this cable. Now, here, here's something for you guys, you builders. Um, you know, this is all nice, and it, it's really well and good, but obviously an actuator is going to be replaced uh, this is evidence right here so when you're putting in your conduit and then you seal this forever um, that's a super bummer so i mean it's nice uh, to keep it um, watertight and, and whatnot in your initial uh, installation but you know here we are five years down the road and we're replacing a, a thing or, a, or an actuator so what i have to do is clip this here and then i'm going to clip 
all of the rest of the of the excess here um, so anyway I have installed my actuator into the return side here it is right there and now we're gonna button it up and they're using this fog again tonight put our handle back on we're in our three position switch is in it's in position one right and our also our suction actuator switch is in position one okay and that's the way they should be um, so anyway we're gonna button this up and then we're gonna fire the pull back up all right, our actuator is all put together. We got our cable all routed inside our Easy Touch. Hello, hello. So let's let me put it in the spa and we'll fire up the heater. And we'll make sure. Make sure everything's working here properly, our heater included. That's the noise we want to hear, for sure. Either way, our suction and return actuators are both operating. Put our jets on. So. Pause a little low because we were sucking from the spa side and returning to the pool. But anyway, we're all good now. And that'll be going to the spillway in a couple of minutes. So, and everything just sounds wonderful. I'm loving it. I feel good about this. I love this little pool. A couple weeks ago I was hating it, but now it's perfect. And I wanna thank the owners for listening to my suggestions.